Today we're talking about brushes and what brush is best for your hair and for the style you're trying to achieve. So we have a variety of different brushes we're going to be discussing and uh, some and most are actually my own brushes, which the re there's a reason I have these brushes. Then even something like, this is like a hammer, this thing, uh, and even like a paddle brush, okay? So brushes are a tool that are going to help you achieve a certain type of hairstyle that you're looking for. For example, if you have very like, you know, dry, maybe frizzy, coarse hair, it's a bit longer, even say, we've got a hairstyle like this, all right? And just say it's really, really out of control and not the healthiest looking, you can achieve hair like this by using a round brush and the blow dryer. And what this brush does is the heat on the brush and the tension from you pulling allows the shape of the hair to change temporarily, i.e. going from like curly to straight, wavy to straight, things like that. A very, very frizzy to very, very smooth. And by utilizing a brush like this, and this is actually the perfect brush size for this style, this tool here, which is my brush, will allow the hair to achieve the look. And that's why a brush is very, very, very important. And I, especially if you're a, an individual who may be like, oh, I don't use brushes, like, oh, that's like weird or whatever. Don't feel like that, okay? Uh, if you wanna get bigger biceps and triceps, you use weights, you use machines. If you want to you know, make a fruit smoothie or something, use a blender. Like you, uh, you wanna brush your teeth, a toothbrush. It's a tool, okay? Anyone can use this. So don't be afraid to use a brush or have different thoughts about it. If you want to have a certain type of look with your hair and achieve a certain thing, then you need a brush. So round brushes in particular. So I have these brushes, which thank you for all of you who purchased or have purchased these. These are my ceramic ionic round brushes. This is the famous, I guess, which everyone keeps buying, the two inch TikToker round brush right here. And you can see I've got my logo on it right there, as well as this one. These are designed with specific technology that is going to help you dry the hair faster. It's gonna prevent you know, damaging your hair like other maybe brushes that don't have this technology. And it's gonna help smooth the hair out much better. So the smaller the brush, just in general, doesn't matter if they're my brushes, the smaller the brush, and there are ones that are more narrow than this, believe it or not. This is a two inch, there's like one inch or one and a half inch brushes. Those I don't see being used as much anymore, but if you've got super, super, super short hair, like, like this maybe, all right? Uh, if you've got hair like this, then you would use a really, really narrow, brush in diameter because that is going to allow the hair to wrap around the brush and you're going to get some more volume. So the shorter the hair, a round brush is simply going to give you more volume. If you do have a very coarse texture, it is frizzy. Yes, it's going to have the same type of benefits when you're smoothing it out to get a more smoother, fuller look. But in reality, the shorter your hair, the less need of a brush, in my opinion, because you should be wearing a style that can be done just with your fingers, okay, and, and styling products. When it comes to achieving the more modern looks, like looking to get flips and having that kind of flipped out TikToker style, you know, that's where this brush, I specifically wanted a two inch round brush so that it gives the right amount of tension the, it's, the hair has to be long enough to achieve that look. So I'd say down to about, you know, around here, just above the eyebrow. And it allows the hair to wrap around, whether you're going under or flipping it back. That's where this is an amazing size brush for that type of look. The next size up, this is the two and a half inch brush. Now this can be used on a hair length like this, okay? Because you could see the hair wraps perfectly around. If I'm looking to get a much flatter or smoother look on a hair length like this, then I'll go in with a brush like this because you can really wrap the hair around and get really, really good tension, okay? And give a nice pull while you're blow drying it with the brush. And that's really gonna help secure and lock in 
that style and eliminate frizz, make your hair look shinier and healthier. If I'm working on a client, say she's got layers in her hair, it's down to be shoulder length, this is gonna be my go-to brush because again, I have a lot of control. I can wrap the hair around a good amount of times and it's gonna give me just the, the right amount of tension and lift and volume that I'm looking for. I can get loads of volume with a brush like this as long as I have the right products in the hair. But in order to get volume, I think this is a, this is a perfect size brush to be able to work the blow dryer, which I have right here, to be able to work the blow dryer and the brush together in sync. You always have to work them in sync together with the nozzle and the brush so that you're gonna be able to achieve a good volume, especially if you're going to a salon to get a blowout or something. Uh, you definitely need the right brush and tool to get the style you're looking for, all right? Next is a brush. This is like Thor's hammer. And anytime you see brushes that are like larger in diameter, say like, you know, three inches, three and a half, I've seen crazy, they look like mallets, these things, some of these brushes. It's designed really, again, for longer hair and you really, really want less volume to the hair. You really are all about like smoothing and you want to cover more of an area, right? A bigger, larger section of hair while you're blow drying it to condense and save time maybe. But this is really, really for just pulling and, and working the hair to get out. Like if your hair is really, really curly and you want it straight. Uh, I don't use brushes, that, the larger brushes myself personally. I feel like I got more control with, with this and I'm able to get more volume and movement. This to me kind of limits the amount of movement you can get in the hair, but it depends on the stylist or you yourself. You may be able to get gorgeous curls with something like this or beautiful waves or whatever. Again, it's, it's how everybody uses the tool. So that's this. Next, and this is probably one of my uh, favorite brushes. This is my anti-static vent brush. This has a number of benefits to it because it's great for detangling. Like this is the, don't use a hair cutting comb when you're trying to detangle your hair, you're just gonna rip hair out. You need the spacing on the bristles. The great thing about this, again, it's anti-static. So when you are brushing it through the hair like this, as you can see, there's no static whatsoever. And I have used many, many brushes in the past. The minute you go like this, it's like very, very staticky. This is great, again, for on, being used on dry hair, on wet hair, for getting rid of knots, tangles, also, if you are looking to get a little more volume, you could use this by just locking it in and lifting and then blow drying with this too. This is great for short hair and trying to get uh, a lot of volume and lift from the root area. I love, love, love this brush. I feel like I can, I can do more from a styling perspective with a brush like this than I can with a round brush. But again, I would never use this if someone's got you know, longer hair and they want it like super straight, they want some movement to it or volume, or it's very, very frizzy, I would not use a brush like this. I'd go right to the round brush. This has no metal, no ceramic, nothing, all right? It's just plastic. This has a rubber grip, which is why I specifically have this brush on my store because it's got a rubber grip, which gives you better control. It's not plastic down here. It's got a rubber coating around it. So that's really, really a, a huge benefit as far as control. Lastly, all right, is the paddle brush. All right, this is a really, really good brush. Yes, for detangling if someone's got really, really long hair, like, you know, chest and lower, you need a powerful brush that's gonna really get through those knots that you can really extend and pull through. And this is great for blow drying if someone wants the hair very, very silky smooth, silky straight, no volume whatsoever. I use this for like, and you can use the vent brush too for flat wrapping which is really gonna, if you've got poofy hair or hair that has too much volume, then you can use the flat wrapping technique, which I've talked about numerous times. I've been doing for 20 something years. You really just work the blow dryer with the brush and you're literally flattening down and smoothing down the hair. So you can use this if you want that same technique or that same method if you've got hair that's a little bit longer, like a bob haircut. But look at this, see this is not anti-static and it's like, a static mess, there's static all over the place. But then again, it's a great brush for really turning and locking in that hair and just smoothing it out with the blow dryer. See all that hair, I can just really, really control it and uh, bring it down. So, and there's probably a, like there's Denman brushes, there's boar hair bristles, there's all sorts of 
you know, tools out there for you. I think what's more important is to know like the size of the brush and what each brush does. Uh, that's going to give you a, a certain look for your hair. If you are interested in purchasing my brushes, or even the blow dryer, any products, use code YouTube20. That's YouTube20 at shop.thesalonga.com and you get a nice discount. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.